Hey, welcome to another short review, um, the live review as well. Of uh, This one's going to be something new, and afterward we're going to do a, a discussion. Um, so hopefully you can uh, join the live discussion after this. I'll stop this review and start a new one. This is Kilhoman, and it's another uh, distillery that's located in Isla, um, part of Scotland. One of my favorite areas, and uh, Kilhoman's a newer distillery, but they have a lot of great products uh, available. This is a newer one, and this one is the uh, STR cast matured. It's a uh, shaved and uh, oh my, I always mess this up. It's toasted and recharred, which is a mouthful for me for some reason. Every time I look over at it, I end up having to repeat it just to be able to say it's it's crazy. But anyway, uh, it's fifty ABV, fifty percent, and uh, it's not colored or chill filtered. It's it's a uh, really nice out of the out of the bottle. Uh, no uh, gimmicks or frills, which is what I appreciate from Kilhoman. Uh, usually have really good mouth coats on their whiskey. Hopefully this won't be uh, much different. As you can tell, I've I've I had some experience with this one, and uh, I'm going to treat it like it's brand new. I just poured it about 12 minutes ago, and let's go in neat. Oh, nice uh, spice right away. Uh, brown sugar, though. A brown sugar, but a little bit of paprika and some, um, maybe some nutmeg as well. Peat smoke, definitely up front in your face, but but on a good level. Hmm. It's a, it's a really nice nose. I, I get a lot of, uh, I'm, it looks like I'm going to be in, for some sweetness and, and some balance with the uh, peat smoke, but um, hopefully not overly sweet. Let's see. Hmm. It is a great mouth coat, medium to, to thick, maybe not Clanleash 14 level, but definitely a, a lot more than a Glengoyne or uh, something on the thinner range. Nice and oily. And a really good mouth coat. Barbecue is the first uh, thing I got, like a pulled pork brisket. It's a, a, a trademark Kilhoman uh, peat smoke is just um, always well done there. I've, I've never had a bottle that I was uh, really disappointed with. It, it This um, has a drier finish, though, than I usually like, but it's still going going. has kind of a German uh, breakfast, the uh, Spätzle. Uh, kind of to that type of ending. Hmm. A little drier, maybe not as complex as I was hoping it to be, but you know, it's not an aged whiskey by any means. Other than you know, it's a. I'm not sure how many years this is. It's not a statement, but I'm assuming it's probably five to seven is my guess. Maybe seven, uh, because the color is is outstanding for it being natural. I love the um. The finish uh, being as long as it is, it's an extra long finish, but it is on the drier side, which I'm not really too keen with that. But um, it's not as rough as like the Port Cast Mature by Kilhoman. That's probably my least favorite bottle. This is definitely a step up from that. It's also got some salted peanuts in the in the back end too. Just got the um, this um. Might not be as good as the red wine cast matured to me, in my opinion, and for my palate. Um, it does have some sherry s qualities to it, though. It um, it's really a, a tough uh, a tough one to rate. I'm gonna say this one's got to be a three point. Let's see, I'm stuck between a three point five and three point seven five. I think I'm gonna stick to my guns and say 3.5. It's above average, but it doesn't blow my socks off like the Kilhoman original cast strength does. It's a it is a, a great sitting down and, and having a, a you know a quick sip type of uh, glass. Let's have a little bit of water just to see if it changes much. I mean just a drop. I'm not gonna put a whole lot on it at 50% and see if um, if it makes much difference. Sometimes it does open up qualities that uh, might make it a little sweeter, might make it not as peaty or smoky. But with this, you don't want that to go away, really. Uh, but it might bring other things out that I might not be able to get from the get-go. It 
and it does bring more of the caramel, more of the um, oaky aspects of the dram. And spice, there's more like black pepper, I think, on that. It's interesting. It, I guess it is more complex than I, I think. We'll have to shift it up to a 3.75 actually. That I've took the time to put you know a little water, and it doesn't take much time, and it doesn't really dilute the dram, and it, it definitely makes it more complex. I think 3.75 is a fair one on this one. Well, hopefully, uh, you get a chance to get the bottle and enjoy it. And uh, if not, hopefully you'll find something that really compare to, you know, something close to it, like a, a Seneg or um, the original cast strength. I mean, they're all pretty good. Well, salon Cheval, and hopefully see you again soon.